And what I notice personally from an analytical point is that you see this Donald Trump-esque America first policy creeping into Biden's speech. President Joe Biden has recently given his first State of the Union address. Joining me to discuss this this morning is my colleague, Nicholas Babaya. Good morning, Nick. What were some of the major points raised about policy by President Biden? Good morning, Simpe. Well, in Joe Biden's inaugural State of the Union address, uh, I think there were many things that he said that were quite usual for a State of the Union address. He did all the political niceties. Uh, but perhaps most importantly is we got a real taste of what the Biden legislative agenda might look like. Um, this is all part of Joe Biden's broader Build Back Better campaign uh, and includes a number of pieces of legislation, one of which is a vast stimulus package, which has already been passed, called the American Rescue Plan. And in his address, he also punted the American Jobs Plan. Uh, this includes building of huge amounts of infrastructure, including things like high-speed internet and water, as well as upgrades to schools, uh, and also the American Families Plan, essentially another infrastructure bill, uh, although this one goes more towards things like childcare and, and education and so on. Put together, these two plans would constitute trillions of US dollars of, of investment. And at least the best indication that we've gotten as to how this is going to be funded will be a raising of tax rates on the, you know, the upper marginal income tax rates. Joe Biden has stated that the middle class will not have their taxes increased. Uh, but regardless, uh, these things still need to go through the Congressional Budget Office. And I would say it's still a little bit unclear how they are going to be funded. But for now, at least, uh, much of the speech was taken up by really pushing the legislative agenda. Joe Biden hasn't been in office for very long. And naturally, I think he really wants Congress to get those bills on his desk. Enjoying this analysis? Click here to sign up for our 30-day free trial for more content from the CIA. Nick, aside from the uh, political points, what were the underlying themes that emerged from his speech? Well, Simpa, I think there was a very interesting thing to observe with the language that Joe Biden used when talking about some of the things. And what I noticed personally from an analytical point is that you see this Donald Trump-esque America first policy creeping into Biden's speech. Now, this is quite fascinating if you consider what an enemy to the Democratic Party uh, that Donald Trump was. We had basically four years of Trump derangement syndrome, as many people call it, hating anything he did. But one of the interesting things about Donald Trump is that his economic nationalism, although it received a lot of criticism, even from within the Republican Party, it was largely quite popular. And I think you're starting to see Joe Biden very slowly co-opt some of those talking points. So, for example, in his speech, he made an interesting uh, reference. He said, there's no reason why wind turbines can't be built in Pittsburgh rather than Beijing. Um, he also mentioned a few times why the United States has to stay competitive uh, with the rest of the world. Now, a, a lot of these things would have been quite unusual prior to Donald Trump. But the fact that we now have a Democratic president post Donald Trump, who's still using some of these talking points, I think it really speaks to the great impact that Donald Trump has had on American politics in the short time that he's there. And it'll be very, very interesting to see how US-China uh, relations play out now that we have a Democratic administration. We have Anthony Blinken as Secretary of State, someone who's been in Washington for many, many years now, um, with Donald Trump's influence having been this big and with sort of antagonism towards China now being quite a popular point among the American public. Sure. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Nick. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more of our analyses, make sure to subscribe to the CIA channel.